Thank you. Good evening, Comedy Store. How are you all? Are you well? Good stuff. Uh, my name is indeed Marcus. I'm from Oldham, which is a, it's a lovely little town. It's one of the few places in the northwest where you can buy ketamine at Boots. <laughs> which is, uh, you can have it as part of the meal deal, which is quite nice. So. Uh, I live in a pretty rough neighbourhood, which is why I was looking into doing some self-defence courses, but the cheapest one I could find was a jiu-jitsu class. And it was 15 quid a lesson, so obviously I just thought, ah, oh, bollocks to that. And uh, so I bought a gun instead, <laughs> which... It's cheaper, it works out cheaper, and is more effective, to be honest. <laughs> so anyway, I was uh, having a bit of a wander through Manchester city centre today, and this, uh, this girl came up to me with a clipboard. She said, uh, excuse me, have you got a few moments to spare to talk about rape awareness? And uh, quite ironically, I suppose, I told her no, but she continued as if I'd said yes. It was a very traumatic experience. She fucking <laughs> followed me down the street. She gave me, she gave me this uh, leaflet, right, it said on it, sex with someone who doesn't want to is rape. And I thought, well, that's nice of them to go around letting people know that, because I had no idea. <laughs> I, thought, I thought rape was when you don't pick your dog shit up. <laughs> if only someone had given me one of those leaflets before I went on my mate's stag do. Could have saved us all a lot of bother. <laughs> uh, speak oh, speaking of stag do's, uh, Scott mentioned uh, lap dancing bars before. Uh, has anyone ever been on a stag do here? Yeah. I know a stupid question, like, yeah, but have you been to the lap dancing bar yet? Or is it too early for that? <laughs> so, yeah, well, I, I agree with uh, what Scott was saying. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, you've had a few more, yeah. I agree with what Scott was saying about lap dancing bars. They're not my, it's not my kind of scene. I just think, like, if I wanted to pay 20 quid to look at a twat, I'd go watching Michael McIntyre. <laughs> you know, oh, some McIntyre fans in. <laughs> to each their own, it's fine. But I, uh, the ma my main gripe with places like that is that they uh, sort of perpetuate all those generalizations about men that I don't like, 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 people would generally say that men are more inclined to cheat on their partners than women, which is bullshit. Because women are just as bad as men. The only difference is women are better at hiding it. <laughs> but us blokes are such fucking idiots. <laughs> like, the first thing a man does when he cheats on his wife or girlfriend is go straight to the pub and tell everyone. <laughs> Just strolls in. Guess he's got chlamydia. Well, you know, the wife said to bring her something back from Magaluf, so... <laughs> you know, there's a, there are a lot of subtle differences between men and women. Steady on. There are a lot of subtle differences between men and women, like... Uh, the one thing I find really endearing about women is, like, you always... In every group of women, you always have one really fat, ugly friend. But you, you've got nothing but nice things to say to her. You know, like some guy calls her ugly and you just go, oh no, ignore that dick. You're not ugly, you're beautiful. You know what, you know what it is? You're sexy in your own way. That's what it is. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, sexy in your own Like, men want you, but they don't know they want you. That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> Which is really nice and really sweet, but men don't do that. We just go, you know what, Steve? You're a fucking right ugly bastard, you. <laughs> like, you know, not to sound too impertinent, but like, you f I look, your face makes me ill, you know, I'm not really... <laughs> I just wanted to get it out in the open, you know? Anyway, that's the end of that bit. What say we, uh, say we lighten the mood a little bit and talk about child sex trafficking? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way a few of you are looking at me as if to say, all right, but it better be fucking good. Uh, I only mention it because there was that uh, story a few weeks ago, that gang in Rochdale, that Asian gang that were trafficking young girls for sex, like 13, 14 year old girls, which is obviously horrendous. But you know, in all fairness, at least they were paying the girls because in the Vatican, kids just have to do it for free, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's an absolute fact. No, the funniest part of all that was uh, they actually, that gang actually accused the judge of being racist. 
Like, that guy's well racist, he just wants to send us down because he don't like Muslims. Like, you sure? <laughs> Not because you've been... Oh! Oh! Thank you!